All right, what's going on, you guys? My brother's here, and as always, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today, I'm here with Shannon, and we're both doing something we really don't want to do, but we think it's going to be a pretty fun video. We're both going to be trying, well, we both have already tried it, but we're going to be doing Skull Berry, Skull Berry Blend. Um, we both really don't want to do it, and the reason why is because... <laughs> Give her a good old stab. <laughs> it's like the worst shit ever. And we thought it would be a pretty fun video. Um, it's it's the pouches. And it tastes like fucking medicine to me. I don't know about you, but it's disgusting. It smells like ass. It smells like medicine, bro. Alright. So. This is going to be rough. Don't put it in until I do. Oh my gosh. I'm going to try hard not to spit it out. Hold up my jug. And we both got mud jugs. Let Shannon use my other one. And these are old, by the way, because I didn't feel like opening up. I, I actually bought a log of them, five cans. Because I kind of figured I'd like them when I first started dipping. And this was a while ago. See, this can says, sell by May 6th. And I opened that probably like, February or March, and it's fucking June 24th today. So, these are some old ass pouches. Alright, you ready? I suppose. We both got peach tea here, so I'm gonna be fucking chugging that. Oh, bro, my stomach's already starting to hurt. <laughs> Alright. Uh, bro, it's so nasty. I'm still trying to get flavor out of it. Mm -mm, you don't want it. Mm -mm. <coughs> oh, that's such a nasty. It's just horrible. Do not ever get this. This shit's the worst shit in the world. Whoever drinks first loses. I think you're gonna be the first one to drink. I will be. I didn't even say that. Made this video ten times better. This is a good shit here. I want you guys to read it back. <laughs> this ain't going well for me. I don't know. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give it like a 4. Maybe after a couple tries, it'd be alright. Yeah, maybe after I, after I did it for a while, I could it'd be alright. Right off the dot. Uh uh. This shit makes me want to. Mm -hmm. After it sits in there, probably. <laughs> <laughs> No, I really don't recommend doing this. And everybody who chews tobacco out there knows that this shit's probably the worst shit ever. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, I talked to my grandpa. He, I was like, if you know anybody that wants this shit, I don't want it. So, he's like, oh, I got... Some guy I work with, he'll probably buy him off. He I was like, alright, I sell him to him for 15 bucks for four cans. I tell you what, if you start spitting as much as me, the flavor gets going. And it, bleh, it's just so nasty, bro. Oh, boy. Man, this is some nasty shit. 
Good thing I got the good shit over here, though. Mm -hmm. Extra mint. And then Shannon's got the Copenhagen. I want to get some Copenhagen mint. Mm -hmm. like me. I am not a long cut guy, though. I think I tried long cut twice. And once I was I was drunk. My battery's about to fucking die. Once I was drunk, and the other time, I got the strongest shit by accident because that's all they had in Grizzly. Because I wanted Grizzly, I wanted Grizzly Wintergreen or Mint or the Red Can. I can't remember what the Red Can is. What is it? Red. I'm not sure. I'd have to ask my buddy Preston. But um, he told me to try that shit, and I tried. They didn't have it, so I got Premium Straight. Grizzly, which I gave to Shannon. Oh my gosh, that's just strong. That's good. I like that. Maybe I'll try. Maybe I'll try try some of that Copenhagen. Maybe I'll try some of this after this video. Maybe I'll try some. Should I record it? I feel like I'm gonna spit it out. I, yeah. What do you think? What if I just take like a little pinch, like you always do? Mm. Besides yesterday, yesterday you had it in a fucking much. <laughs> This shit ain't that bad no more. I don't know. The more it's in, the more, the more it, four goes down to three, down to two. I, I don't recommend this Yeah, shit. the more it fucking sinks in, it's like... Mm -hmm. And then me and Shannon were going to throw in one of these. I'm probably going to have to make two videos. My battery's about to die. Uh, Wintergreen skull pouches. This is my first can ever, and I still have fucking pouches in here. That's how nasty this shit is. Well, it wasn't really that nasty. I just, I tried this. I had quite a few pouches out of this. Because there's still some in here, but not, I took like five out of it or something. And then I bought me my first can of this, and then I started on this. And then my grandpa's like, hey, if you're ever in the house, just fucking throw in one of these. And I was like, well, fuck yeah. Cause it's not, it's a non-spitter, so you can just fucking sit there and chill. I got a story for you guys. Well, my dad, he smokes all the time and stuff, and he went out and bought him a can of just camel shit. I don't even know what it is. Anymore. I never tried that either. Maybe me and you need to round up fucking some money, cause obviously we're both broke bitches right here. <laughs> round up some money and fucking try to get. Like, different companies of dip, and me and him would just try them. But anyways, um, he bought this back in 2009, and he still got the can. It sits on his table right beside his recliner. And uh, well, one day I'm like, hey, how long ago did you get this? And I said, back in, well, he said, back in 2009, I said, you know how hard that shit is and dried out? And he was like, yeah, I think it's time for a new one. I said, I think you should have got a new one. Back in 2010. In 2009? Shit. He that can should have been gone in 2009. He doesn't do dip too often or even pouches. I think he's stuck in pouches. I I like my long cut. Pouches are okay every now and then. Well, I mean, I grew up around pouches because I, as a kid, I was with my grandpa like every weekend. And all my grandpa did was like snus and shit like that and... Uh, extra mint, so I got into that straight off the bat, but I'm going to try to start getting in a long cut, and after this I'll probably make a video with Shannon doing uh, Copenhagen Wear Green long cut try that shit see if I like that, but I don't think I will, bro I don't know I like it, it's, it's great that's probably the one I'll stick with for a while I mean, I'm up to try new things, but I would not recommend this skull berry, whatever the fuck this shit is. Yeah, it's fucking. I don't. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't take ah. a drink. I wouldn't take a drink if I didn't have to. But I think I'm gonna spit this out. I mean, you can throw one of these in. You down? I'm down. All right. Throw up. So here you go. Take it three. Take it three. I'm about to throw up myself. <laughs> Tastes like fucking medicine. 
<laughs> I win. <laughs> I already knew you were going to do that, but it's all good. Because we both spit them out. I guess I spit them out first. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> This is fucking... Feel that. Those are dried out so bad. So are these. I don't even want to open this can again. I'll throw that away. No, I'll probably just throw... Guy. I'll throw away all the fucking pouches and throw it... I'm going to try to start making a fucking... Uh, a tower. I only have quite... I only have that many. Not very many. But those are all empty besides... These two old ass cans that I got here. Probably gonna switch the battery, but that's all good because this video is probably gonna be pretty long. Alright, give you the honors of throwing one of these in. Mm -hmm. this, this is your shit though. This is wintergreen. Tell you how bad it is because I know it's kind of dried out. It's not that bad. I still got that berry shit in my mouth though. Mm -hmm. Oof. It's been a long time since I've had wintergreen. It's not bad. I still got that berry taste in my mouth. I'm not like, nah. Yeah, the it's mix not together a, is pretty bad. That's why I was like, <laughs> wintergreen is pretty good though. Oh yeah. Oh, dude, that berry shit. Mm. It's not wixing with this winter ring. I still can't believe I got my first ever fucking can and I still got the pouches in it. How many do I got mm -hmm. left now? So that's two from both of us. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I probably should keep my cans, but I just have all my cans away. I don't know why. Bro, you should make a tower like me. Okay. Well, no. Because I'm going to get one of those fucking... You know my mom's stand out there that has all of her grandma and grandpa stuff? I'm going to get mm -hmm. one of those and set it right there above above this. Literally right there. Well, if you want to make that tower fuck stuff, you're going to get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, right now I'm pretty... Pretty well broke at the moment and stuff. We haven't been out there in the field because it's non-stop rain. Yeah. Luckily today, it hasn't really rained that much. It's been off and on. I was out there working on the truck a little bit. And you can see the rain clouds out there forming and stuff. I'm like, well, shit. But, yeah, he works on a farm. I Currently, I don't work anywhere. I've like been doing YouTube because I did work for a diesel company. But they... They had some issues that I don't want to talk about because probably some of them will watch these videos. So, I didn't want to do none of that shit no more. So, I've been working for, or looking for another mechanical job. Yeah, where I work at and stuff, we do mechanics, we do farm work, all sorts of things. I mean, I was telling Aaron earlier, yesterday that I'm glad I work for a private business and stuff instead of work on them people's vehicles and stuff because now you don't deal with anybody's bullshit and come in and complain. Yeah, he was telling us about some lady that was complaining about her brakes because she was fucking always coming in. She can't, She got three different brake changes, rotors and everything within like two weeks. And he's like, you got to stop driving so hard on them. And then the first one, they... He, he paid for her, and the other two he didn't because she kept complaining, saying that it was all his fault because they didn't put him on wrong. They put him on wrong and this and that. And he's like, well, did they fall off? And she's like, well, no. He's like, well, then we didn't put him on wrong. <laughs> no, we work on, like, heavy-duty equipment, like tractors. Um, I forget the size tractor that is. I have a big shove out there in the truck, but... Um, we, we, I work for Fry Brothers and stuff, and what we do is we get manure from, like, big dairies and stuff, and 
their manure we spread out on all of everybody's fields and stuff. We we can do pump direct, like directly from the um, like the silage, well not silage, the manure pit and stuff. We pump directly from that if the field's local or if it's pretty far away and stuff. We get we have 10, 15 semis that all hook up and stuff and they haul our manure over to a frack tank that um, my boss built a couple of years ago and stuff. And that holds shit ton of manure and stuff and it's all hooked up to a tractor and that tractor drags it around the field and stuff and spreads manure all over and, and it help, of course it helps out plants grow more nutrients and stuff. And we can get up to ask crack of dawn about it well, about 5.30 and stuff and get out there in the field all day. And um, we'll be out in the field all day and probably get home get done about seven. We try to get in two fields to three fields a day, mostly two. Sometimes I've heard three times, three fields a day. It just depends on what, how many acres we do. And um, then we move on and then like what's been going on the past couple of weeks and stuff, we have not had anything to do. Even our our master mechanic that we have, Jack, he does, he's told me the other day he has nothing else to do and stuff. So. We all been just chilling out, doing little things. Like I have to come in every now and then, clean up shop, power wash, crack tank, shit like that. There's nothing too bad. It's a, it beats working at a restaurant, shit like that. Uh, before I worked there, it was at a car wash, and I, I totally f fucked that place. <laughs> yeah, those, no. those people were fucking mean to you. Oh yeah, they said some mean shit about his mom mm -hmm. and. My mom just got, just beat cancer's ass by a long shot and stuff. She has lymphoma and she's on the healing stage now. And they, my boss told me at the car wash when I was working there, he said, you ready to not have a mom? And that really sent me over the edge and stuff. So I just quit. And since I've been working at the, um,